Hello everyone and welcome to another Python 3 tutorial video. Uh, this video is going to be covering tkinter and actually it's going to be the first part of a five part mini series uh, around tkinter. What tkinter is, is it's part of your standard library in Python and it's going to work with tk which is going to subsequently work with tcl. tcl is what we use to make windows and we have a little bit of a wrapper so basically what, what we have here is we've got tkinter which is a wrapper around tk which is kind of like a wrapper around tcl for making windows. And what's going to allow us to do is kind of, it's almost like a high level uh, wrapper, so to speak. So within about tens or so lines, we can create a window. It's a very basic window, but we can create a window, and this window can be resized, it can be minimized, maximized, and it, most importantly, it can be closed. And this actually involves a lot of code and a lot of logic that we won't have to worry about actually coding ourselves, thankfully. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and get started now. So, um, we. What you'll find is most people, I think, um, at least myself, are going to go from tkinter import uh, asterisk. So this means import everything from tkinter. So aside from like super basic windows or something, your typical, you know, fully functional GUI or graphical user interface. When I say GUI, it stands for GUI, graphical user interface, in case you didn't know. Um, your typical window is going to use a lot of different functions from tkinter. And so it just makes a whole lot of sense to just import everything to me anyway. Uh, if you want, you can in, uh, import individual things, uh, do what you want. Anyway, enter, enter. So now what we want to do is we want to make our window class. Now I know classes confuse a lot of people. You've got self and parent and master and all this stuff. Um, I understand that uh, and that gets confusing, but uh, just bear with me now. So self usually just, oops, let me mute. Self just uh, corresponds to really, your, Basically, um, when you pass an object through whatever you know your class, you call it. You say self, and then you say you know the parameters and all that. You don't really have to call it self self either. You can call it anything you wanted. You could call it Bajumba, um, and this would be totally fine. It would be really confusing to people, but that would be totally fine. Um, it's just kind of like um, expected that you use the word self, but you don't have to. So. Anyway, moving along. So we're gonna say class, capital window, and then through window, we're gonna pass through frame. Now, frame is not something I've just made up. Uh, we're actually passing through the frame um, within tkinter. So uh, I figure, I guess I might as well show you guys. So if we go to computer C 34 lib, and we come down to tkinter, um, and we're gonna open up our initialization script here. So we'll edit that. And we will do a control F. So we're going to find and then just type frame. We'll hit and then we'll go find that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There we go. I guess after fourteen, we finally found what we we're looking for. So we're looking for this the class frame and then widget. And so like, this is what we're referring to when we type frame in there. Uh, so I'm going to move this out. So this is basically saying we're going to we're creating our, our window, and with that window we're making a frame. And so the frame is really what you think of as a window. You have a frame, and then you have got you've got like contents within it. Um, but programmingly we call that a frame, not really a window. So anyway, now what we're going to do is we're going to define our initialization. So define underscore underscore init underscore underscore. And then through the parameters, again, we're going to use self. I know it's crazy, but we're going to use self. And um, basically, we're going to say for now, master equals none. So, um, yeah, so there. Now, um, basically, what we want to do is what parameters do we want to pass through our frame class. And what we've basically set here is this is our parent widget. So this is our main window. And then we will put more stuff within that window. So now what we're going to say is we're going to say frame dot underscore underscore knit underscore underscore and then self again could be bajumba and master. So again we're just referencing this initialization here okay and already well I suppose actually we didn't even have to do master equals none because that's by default so in theory we actually could probably get away with just self uh, just init and self. Um, Anyway, uh, so that's our default, which makes sense. But anyway, moving along. Uh, so after we've do, we've done our define initialization, then frame, and then we're actually going to say self.master equals master. So this is our main 
uh, Windows. So this is just basically we're calling this the master widget, okay? Um, and that's going to be our, our, our mainframe, okay? Mainframe. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Okay, so then uh, what we want to do is, you know, we could do all kinds of other things, but what I think I'd like to do now is what we're going to do is we're going to say root equals TK. Actually, TK like that. In this one, we actually do capitalize the T, and that's actually something that we're, we're importing basically from tkinter, just like we imported frame from tkinter. So this is what it's doing is that we're calling this our root window. And again, uh, we could open up where I was I uh, here. Um, in it. I don't think it would want to be in it. Hold on, let's see. See if we can find it in here. Define TK. No, that's not what I want. Okay, well, you'll have to take my word for it. It's in here. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's our root window, basically. And then what we're going to say is our app for application equals window, referencing our window class. And then within that, our frame is going to be our root. Um, and then finally, we're going to say root uh, dot main loop. And this basically initializes um, and generates our window for us. So let's go ahead and save and run that. And boom, we have ourselves a nice little TK window. So as I said, we can resize the window. We can minimize the window. We can bring it back. Uh, we can maximize the window and it just and we can move it around all that and we can close the window so we can do all these things uh, with very few lines of code I said 10 initially we got one two three four five six seven eight lines that we were able to basically create this window within eight lines now naturally um, that's not really the case because we used quite a few lines um, from tkinter uh, but that's the whole idea of using tkinter is that it saves you from writing you know, hundreds of lines just for that basic window just to pop up. Uh, and really, I suppose you could break it down. It's probably more like thousands of lines. But anyway, uh, if we go right down to machine code. Um, anyway, so that's just a basic window. Now, obviously, there's a lot of things we can do with windows. We need you know, buttons. We can do text, you know, right? So if I scroll this thing down, you know, we've got title of the window. We've got some menu options, buttons, all this kind of stuff. So the obviously a lot of things that we, we w might want to add uh, to this. So anyway, so this is just a basic window. And the next video what we're going to be doing is kind of adding on to this window um, a little bit. So stay tuned for that. If you guys have any questions or comments up to this point, uh, feel free to leave them below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.